Hello, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the woods, and welcome back to a little spot of foraging. So today, as well as foraging for damsons and some walnuts, and particularly the walnut husks, um, I've also been looking for these. And all these are, are little pieces of greenwood with a little side branch coming off. And these are the subject of my simplest ever simple stick project. So your little stick for this very, very simple stick project wants to be like that. And it wants to be the length of your finger to about the third knuckle. The little side branch wants to be the length of your finger to the first knuckle. And as I said, ideally greenwood, and if you can, a hardwood. I've used several types of wood. Um, this one is a bit of sweet chestnut. I've used birch. I've used a little bit of hawthorn, I've also used some sycamore and the one that I use most often is made from a piece of dogwood, so good, quite hard woods. So all you need to do to your stick for the simplest stick project ever is drill a small hole you know, in the top just there, big enough to put a piece of paracord or a bit of thonging through. With that done, round the top off, round the base off maybe round that off. You could, if you want, even strip the bark off, or you could do what I did, and you can make them quite ornate as well. On this one, craft a little owl in the end with a twist in it, so it's nice and personal. But you don't want one of these, you want several of these, which is why I'm harvesting a few more. Now you can use these out in the woods, they can be hung up on the end of your walking staff and you can hang your, your billy can on the end of it or you can cut a toggle through there, wind it around a tree and you suddenly you've got somewhere you can hang up your smock while you're out in the woods. But this little hook's primary environment isn't out here in the woods. This lives on your keychain and next time you go to town and you've got to maybe press a button for a lift, you use this to push it. Or perhaps you've got to get on a train or an underground train and you've got to press that button to open the door. How many other thousands of people have pressed that button that day? Now this can be used for pushing that little button. It can also be used for hooking open the handles on doors, doors for public toilets or if you've got to get into a cab, you've got to lift the handle to get in. What this is, is a little portable barrier between you and a lot of other nasty germs. Now I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack from some of you because I've mentioned the COVID word, but it is out there. And if it's not that, it will be something else. This is something in your little EDC kit that gives you a barrier against any of those nasty things. Make a few, that way, as soon as you finish with it, you can sanitize it, or chuck it in a sink, or wash it up. <coughs> Just make sure you've got loads of them, so you've always got this little barrier between you and all those nasty things that are laying on surfaces. So there you go, the simplest simple stick project I've ever created. Give it a go, it takes a couple of minutes, don't make one, make a few. Have them in your pocket, have them on your keychain, so you've always got one next time you have to go into a town or a large public area where you might have to touch handles and things. I know a few of you don't like the whole COVID thing and, and that I mention it, but it does seem to be a fact. And if it's not that germ, it will be another germ, as I've seen. If you like this video, then remember, hit that thumbs up button and go and make yourself one of these. You can also go and follow me over on Instagram and Facebook. The links are in the description box down below. You can pop over, have a look at my Etsy shop. There's a few bits on there, including my Greencraft patch. Okay, it's a lot smaller than this one. 
and the leather ones are in band. I'm waiting for the first batch to come in, so pop over there, have a look. There's also uh, another patch coming up very, very soon. You can also pop over to Patreon. Again, the link is down there. Have a look if you want to get involved with the channel, help support the channel. It doesn't cost a whole lot. Do it. I think that's everything. I've been Neil. Until next time, stay safe.